In this tutorial we're going to do a Cosmopolitan magazine cover and it's just a quick tutorial on the Cosmopolitan logo. So we're going to start out with an 8.5 by 11 150 dpi file and over here we've got an example of the Cosmopolitan logo so we're just going to bring it in here scale it up. Cosmopolitan uses Franklin Gothic extra condensed expanded font, which you can find easily on the web for free. So we're going to go ahead and type the, the name. And we'll just move it up for comparison. And then we're going to adjust the character spacing. Because as you can see, there's a lot of space has been taken out here. So as you can, as we zoom in, have a look, we can see this is starting to look pretty good, but the L and the I and the T and the A and the N, they've lost a lot of spacing. So the only way to do, to do the Cosmopolitan logo is by actually making three separate portions of the logo. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to do a new layer group. We can just call it anything we like. In that layer group, we're going to do this part, then we'll do the I, and we'll do T-A-N. As you can see, there's a bit of spacing in the T-A-N, so what we're going to do is we're going to change our character spacing a little bit to something that looks pretty close. I think that looks pretty close. Move this up, zoom in, so there's a little bit of space between here, so we'll zoom in. And there, that's the Cosmopolitan logo. Now, you might have to do, change the sizing on that, so we can go, go to this one, get the text tool, probably going to want to increase it so it's about the size of our width of our page. I think I want to go a little bit bigger. Let's try 250 and we're going to adjust our spacing. And we'll get this one to 250. And this one to 250. Now each one we're going to have to move them around manually again. Looks like we're going to have to make it a lot bigger. So let's try 300. Oh, let's try that again. Let's try 300. And that fits within the page, that's perfect. So we can highlight the logo group and then we can just move the whole section up by holding the shift and the left mouse button. And then we just move these guys out of the way. And there you go. Now we can go in and we can change our, use our text tool to change the colors if we like. To a pink. And there we go. That's done and it's ready to start adding other parts like the model and the bylines.